Uh, welcome everyone to GGN. It's Wednesday, October 9th, 2013. I'm Darko and I have an interesting video and news report here for you today. A lot of it has to do with computers, uh, mind control, singularity or transhumanism. This first one is England's young adults trail world in literacy and math. Young adults in England have scored among the lowest results in the industrialized world in the international literacy and numeracy test by a major uh, study showed out England's 16 to 24 year olds are falling behind their Asian and European counterparts. They're still 22nd for literacy and 21st for numeracy out of 24 countries. They warned of a shrinking pool of skilled workers. It also makes you wonder if it's due to their immigration policies and this is you know, this is transferring jobs overseas. Like I said, like I said, when you see China go to full automation, that's a red flag to let you know that they don't really need people anymore once they can do that. Because right now they're using the Chinese basically as cheap labor, i.e. robots. But we just covered this right on Monday about how people in America were actually training their replacements. Um, you know, their job, they're basically the workers from China that were gonna be replaced them as the US jobs got shipped overseas. So it says here that it shows that the socioeconomic background, people taking the test in England are going backwards. Well, they're bringing in people from countries where they don't read or write. You know, they're usually just poor farmers. So yeah, of course, that makes sense, right? They said here that they were force fed a diet of dumbing down and low expectations, the laborers' children. As numeracy goes, the ne Netherlands came in at one, Finland two, Japan three, uh, Belgium 4, South Korea 5, Austria 6, Estonia, Sweden 8, Czech Republic of all places, number 9, and Slovakia or Slovak Republic 10. Yeah, look at that, look at this number 24, the US, Italy, Spain, England, Ireland, France, Northern Ireland, Ireland, Canada, all, you know, 16 in that, and to 24. And talking about a Meridum. So this from the AP, it's been a long known that America's school kids haven't measured well compared with international peers. Now there's a new twist. Adults don't either. In math, reading, and problem solving, using technology, all skills considered critical for global competitiveness and economic strength, American adults scored below the international average on a global test according to res results. Such so Japan, Canada, Australia, and Finland and other countries scored significantly higher than the United States in all three areas of the test. Beyond basic reading and math, respondents were tested on activities such as calculating mileage reimbursement uh, for salesmen, sorting email, and comparing food expiration dates. Not only did Americans score poorly compared to many international competitors, the findings reinforced just how large the gap is between the nation's high and low-skilled workers and how hard it is to move ahead when your parents haven't. Well, that's kind of a fallacy moving ahead mobility out of your class, you know, that's the American dream, which like Carlin said, you have to be asleep to believe it. Remember, we just covered an article that said that Americans, uh, citizens and that voters, they don't trust their own decision making, or basically it was at an all time low percentage. And then we saw another article or study that said that, that uh, younger people, right, uh, kids or te no, teens make better decisions than elders. So but the whole, uh, like I said, the Prussian model school system that we have in the United States is made to raise obedient workers, to dumb them down, uh, transforming America's schools into authoritarian instruments of compliance. This is from a psychologist, to the degree that we take away play, deprive children of the ability to practice adulthood, and we create people who will go through life with a sense of dependence and victimization a sense that there is some authority out there who is supposed to tell them what to do and solve their problems. This is not a healthy way to live. So it makes sense that Jennifer Garner uh, would be what? Supporting preschool for all. So that they can be brainwashed to be obedient workers and accept all the social agendas that they have. Interesting too that quote, to the degree that we take away play, we deprive children of the ability to practice adulthood. Because what also, what also came out was that scientists were shifting uh, adolescents up to the age of 25. So they want a bunch of grown up children, right? Gates Foundation, Common Core produces career ready citizens. This is the Bill Gates Foundation saying this. They financed a study praising 
kindergarten through 12th grade uh, teachers, saying that uh, Common Core State Standards is the perfect way to improve students' thinking skills. The study states that three-fourths of teachers believe that the core Common Core improves students' ability to reason and think critically. So some of these include uh, basic knowledge of classics without a focus on reading comprehension, reinvention of writing skills to focus on keyboard and typing skills for college and career readiness, learning how to speak improperly by integrating slang and other alternative modes of communication, using media as a form of learning to train students to become dependent on mainstream media for their information while de-emphasizing personal research and independent thought. Commuter disconnect as a passenger was too immersed in toys to spot murder. So I guess it was more than just one, it was other passengers, right? So it's here that authorities have partially blamed gadget-absorbed commuters for failing to notice a gun-wielding assailant who calmly took his time before shooting a man uh, point-blank range on a San Francisco train. So that just says it all, right? Hell, you can't even have a conversation with people that you haven't seen in months. I go through that. And when I do see my family, uh, you know, whatever, however many times a year, you think that they would want to talk to you. They want to talk to you, maintain eye contact. No, they're, all their heads are down in their cell phones, right? And they're not actually listening to you. They're just glued to the technology. And it just annoys me that they have these things. When they're not using them, it's like I have the NSA uh, at the table with us because they don't want to put those damn phones away or turn them off. They have to leave them right on the table where the cameras and microphones are pointing out at uh, you know at me. So they're, you know it's just it's really frustrating. So the uh, suspect says here that he pulled out his gun, raising and pointing it, even wiping his nose with his sleeve of the hand before tucking the weapon away and drawing it again several more times with nobody any of the wiser he simply then shot the those and disembarked the incident highlights an increasing lack of attention from passerbys authorities saying alluding to the spread of high-tech toys people are so engulfed by their handheld and entertainment devices that they pay almost no attention to their surroundings they say it also hinders people's ability to concentrate leading to increased crime it almost makes you wonder if the whole thing was a psyop Right to test the to test the public to gauge him. I mean, this kind of weird name, Nikom uh, Thepka Kaison. So I know the Northwest, and that is has a lot of Asians. Someone else was almost a second victim that night. He says here he had stuck a gun in another man's back just hours before. He looked for someone to shoot. He did not pull the trigger, choosing to go hunting for another. So this guy was like just randomly shooting people. So. You know, I don't know, maybe if it was race-related, it couldn't be considered a hate crime, right? Obama trendies want mandatory helmets for walking. 14 out of 20 petition, or signed a petition endorse, endorsing draconian nanny state measures. So, 14 out of 20 people at the University of Texas supported these uh, measure to actually have the government enforce mandatory use of helmets while walking. Basically proves that the majority of the American public will accept almost any nanny state measure, no matter how ludicrous. Whistleblower terminated for Northwest for uh, revealing human medical experimentation. Why would a bright and promising cardiologist be fired from the university hospital that she has practiced in since 2000? Apparently protecting her patients is grounds for dismissal. This is in Illinois. Despite, despite being promoted to director, it says here she was terminated in 2008 after reporting the use of non-FDA approved experimental medical devices being implanted in patients without their knowledge. The doctor conducting these human experiments was testing his own inventions, an IMR aneuplasty device. They had not been approved by the FDA, which to me doesn't mean crap, and even now many patients have no idea that they have these experimental devices in their bodies. Scientists want to transplant a human head. Seems far-fetched, but Italian neuro, uh, neuroscientist says here that they believe that with new strides in technology, a human head could be transplanted from one body to another in the very near future. There's a new patent that opens a can of worms on designer babies. Geneticists say they're worrying about this 23andMe trying to breed better people. So, DNA could be, in theory, used to boost the chances of, partic of a particular sex, as well as hair or eye color, says the Wall Street Journal. It has the potential to screen out diseases, 
But the 23 and me says this isn't the goal of the company's family traits inheritance calculator. They said it wasn't the goal of the company it was to offer a fun way to predict how the child might look. Then they have this saying that it could encourage the uh, dangerous idea that science should be used to breed better people. Well, it's already there. It's this is going to be used by the people, the scientists, the elites, for themselves, people who could afford it. So you know, it's not just computers could uh, exterminate humanity. Uh, you have these elites that are just going to basically uh, become supermen, right? And people are, you know, will be left behind. You have like this with transhumanism, selling the trendies on transhumanism, Vogue's creepy Google Glass photo shoot. Recently published a photo shoot set in the dystopian futuristic landscape to promote the Google Glass and sell the trendies on humanism. Check on M4s, you can find the video on that. The creepy images send the message that anyone who refuses to completely sacrifice privacy and embrace Google Glass is obsolete and cannot be part of a future world run by vapid, emotionless authoritarians who behave more like robots than humans. And one of the articles in the beginning actually talked about how people with higher education, went to college and stuff like that, scored higher than literacy tests as far as the U.S. and the British go. Well, that makes sense, right? Because you've got to be able to... You know, talking about crawling out of that class. You know, how hard is it to do that without selling your soul? Yeah, you can almost see that these elites that become superhumans will have the machines doing a lot of their work for them. Aerospace company develops drone that can fly continuously for five years. They call them atmospheric satellites. Fly at 65,000 feet and provide drone-like services that, such as live mapping, monitoring, narcotics trafficking, I'm sure, right? They could charge its own battery high above commercial aircraft through the use of solar power. This is all recent news, so soon drones may be able to make lethal decisions on their own. It says eventually drones may have the ability, technical ability, to make even lethal decisions autonomous, autonomously. They say it's sparking some controversy in the U.S. military. The scientists saying that autonomous drones are more ethical than humans. He said, it is not my belief that an unmanned system will be able to perfectly, uh, to be perfectly ethical in the battlefield, but I'm convinced that they can perform more ethically than human soldiers are capable of. Well, side note, a Pakistani teenager who's protesting CIA drone strikes was uh, killed by a drone four days later, 16-year-old. I saw this wildcat DARPA's 60 mile an hour untethered running death bot, and I thought, oh, that's not all that scary, right? But it is, right? Because it's untethered, it's out, it's functional. It may sound like a lo like a leaf blower, but remember, the DARP DARPA is working on technology to have these things eat on biological material. That's i.e. humans and plants and insects as energy instead of just gas. But it's my belief that a lot like, you know, solar energy for the, for the drone that can go for fly five uh, years in a row, they use all that renewable efficient energy type of technology for themselves for the military to control people to control the planet but we get you know limited like resources uh, new terminator style bots can self-assemble leap climb and swarm the creepy limbless mit uh, roboticist flywheel paves way for a tiny cube shape overlords even without limbs they can climb over and around each other jump into the air and roll around and even move when hanging upside down real life iron man suit commissioned by u.s military well that was the whole thing that movie was to promote the military industrial complex transhumanism drones the army commissioned this suit to provide wear with superhuman abilities like night vision enhanced strength and protection from gunfire first time ever a man has been fitted with a thought controlled bionic leg an artificial leg that is controlled by the person's thoughts. It has to do with avatars, right? This is for avatars. Like the Russian billionaire talking about the 2050 project. They're calling it a medical marvel. The Florida doctors use new technology to regrow a man's finger. And that's where it goes. That's who's rewarded, right? Chemistry and Noble goes to three for computer modeling. At least two of them have dual Israeli U.S. citizenship. This is what they're creating, right? They're going to replace humans for everything. On the farm, in the, in the factories, can algorithm write a better news story than a human reporter, right? Because, like, soldiers, you know, they may have um, morals and principles and assaults, and they think, and they may not follow orders. Auto automation will one day replace humans in government. It makes you wonder if they haven't already, right? Because they just follow orders. Members of Congress seen partying, drinking on Capitol Hill all week during the shutdown. Maybe they're celebrating new ownership. Who knows? This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.